Nikolai and Michael Fram. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Um, in these austere and, and difficult economic times, uh, could I begin by asking you, how do you think overall that the art market's been holding up? I think it's been holding up extremely well. You see um, established artists are uh, very much in high demand. You see big prices uh, for those. You have the Gerhard Richter candle painting, which is coming up tomorrow with an estimate of six to eight million pounds. You'll never be able to find one of these again. They, most of them are in museums, so you're probably going to see a very high price for that. Mid-level artists, tougher. Michael, if you are thinking about getting into the art market, is this a good time to perhaps be looking at some of those mid-level artists or even some of the new ones who, who don't have the blue chip name yet sure. and therefore it's harder to price them, presumably? Sure. It's a good question. I, I think what we're seeing right now is that uh, people actually have more time to talk to you uh, as a young new collector coming into the market. So the galleries now at Freeze uh, have a little bit more time than what they did during, uh, during good times. So I, I think it's a, it's a great time to kind of spend a few hours. If you, if you look at Freeze, for example, walk around, get to know the, the, the good galleries, the young up and coming galleries, find out what you like, uh, and then really start asking questions because you do have that extra five minutes now to, mm. to spend with them. And is that still the key? Is it always to buy what you like rather than what you know is going yeah, to be Yeah, you know, I, I think when it comes to art, it's, it's not much different from, from, if you look at it from an investment uh, perspective, uh, from much different from, from if you buy real estate or you buy, uh, you know, into the financial markets. You, you really have to understand the market that you're playing in. You have to understand the players who are, who are making a difference and you have to understand who are the artists who are in the end of the day important in art history if you're looking uh, long term to invest. But yeah, of course, I, I think you know, pas uh, the, the passion is, 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 the for, uh, is the most important thing, uh, at least for, for us it is. And then you know, the, the investing into to art becomes a sort of a secondary, th uh, secondary thing. And who is, in, who is buying at the moment? Uh, Olivia was saying that perhaps they're, if, that they're can be a little bit more considered about the purchases they make. But who is out there spending money? There are buyers now from all over the world. If you go back just five years ago, mm -hmm. well, actually, I'll give you an example. I used to work at Christie's Auction House. Every time a major work came up for auction, we knew within three people the whole world was going to buy that. Now you have no idea. It can be China, it can be Russia, it can be India, America, powerful players out there. Uh, and uh, how big a difference is China making to the art world? Yeah, I think it's making a huge difference uh, in, in our industry, actually. And, and if you go back to uh, just uh, uh, five years ago, it, that was the first uh, sort of uh, uh, time a Chinese uh, artist broke a million dollars on, on mm. auction in, uh, in uh, New York at, at Sotheby's, uh, John Chao Gang. Mm. Uh, he since then broke uh, $10 million on auction in, in Hong Kong uh, last year. And if you go back to, to 96, uh, he was selling for less than 100000 And I think you, you have to think about China as, as really a a community and a country that was completely closed off for the contemporary art market. So it, it really the birth of that contemporary art market started back in, in 79. But the actual art market as such uh, for, for China, for the Chinese people started really in 2006. And right now we are really seeing in Hong Kong making a big way in with the, uh, with the auctions there doing extremely well. Not only in art, look at the fine wines, jewelry. Uh, so it's having a huge impact across the board, I think. A real game changer. Uh, Nikolai and Michael Fram, thank you very much indeed uh, for coming thank in you. and talking to us.